wheel a wheel changes the the world you know and electricity and every step of the way like in music you know like people like 20 years ago could just say digital recording is a joke you can never do that um and now that's funny you know that's just you become absolute you know if, if you're absolute on stuff like that it's you don't give yourself much room and you know there was like when the rolling stones you know played some of their best sets and like early 60s stuff they didn't have monitors to hear their voice you just sang and it's like but when monitors came every singer was like yeah i want that yeah i want to hear my voice does that change music i mean i don't you know i think you just have to be tasteful and not of be course it cha- of yeah i think of course it changes music but music will always change i mean that's the point of music right it's it's always ever changing and moving around and yeah it's changed since the first person who played a note <laughs> yeah right on a whatever i don't even what what is the first musical thing you, you think it was like a flute or something or somebody clicking two rocks together by a fire i'm curious yeah. about, you know I what mean, do you I think, think it was music is such like in our dna like it doesn't totally. matter the medium the means in which you make it it's part of yeah. us it's like yeah people singing around a fire yeah a melody the voice is the first yeah instrument, that's it you know right. the voice you're right that's and it. That's you know, and it's, right. I think that people have been singing and it's bringing it, it has always brought people together because people do it together, right? You know, it's just like, yeah, you don't have to be too, too mystical or too hippie to go there. It's just, it's just that real where people, that's what music does is people join in together and it becomes bigger than the song. Yeah. Bigger than an artist. It's just something that's shared. It's unifying and yeah. And, you know, and I think that's what live music does, too, for like, especially for fans that are really into to records and stuff that going to the show is that next level and bringing the whole thing to life or something and um, being with other people that have had that same experience with that record or these records. And then, you know, you think about it, I have a job where I go in every night to people that are generally very happy. Yeah. you know that's the stuff that's contagious and um, brings you joy you know um i'm always hesitant now and i say the words like contagious or uh, that's sick <laughs> um, like, this doesn't have the same ring patrick that's um, funny that's funny that's- um, <laughs> but but yeah i think that you know that's music just part of us like in our bones kind of stuff you know it really is it's natural i mean it's think about this like let's say all humanity just for, for, you know, not, not to sound dark, but let's just say all humanity ceased to exist. And, and there was a small group of people that, that, you know, survived, right? Like a movie or something. And then they built civilization back. Music would come back. Music would be something, right? Cause it's natural. Like the sounds of it. That's the beauty of music. And they probably play music on other planets. I mean, not to get too crazy here, but like, right. There's probably, it's a natural thing. I mean, the sounds just, are yeah. natural, right? So like, I think I find that fascinating. It's I think music is like math. It's one of those things where and science. It's it, that's why I I think music is right. Like they say, um, you know, like I said, if 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 everything just ceased to exist, they burned all the science books. In a, in a thousand years, those same science books would come back because it's science. You, you you're gonna rediscover the same yeah. Laws you can't of, get right? rid of it. You can't get rid of it. So same it's thing not with made music. up. Yeah, that's the it, same it, thing it, with music. You can never destroy it, right? Like it's this natural thing and these sounds literally flow through space. Like, dude, that's crazy to me. Like, right. And then us as humans, y- yourself, you know, primarily, I don't do anything with music, but you take this something that's so natural and beautiful and then you sort of form it and make this beautiful artist, right? That's so cool, man. That's like, I mean, God, not to sound so hippie-ish, but like that is, that's it. You know, I, I find dude, that fascinating. Dude, yeah. I, I appreciate that. It's like, I, um, Ram Das said that, you know, the act of creation is bringing form to the formless. Oh, I like that. And, I like and, that a lot. And that always uh, carries with me because it can be applied yeah. to anything we do as, as, sure. as humans and creators, whether yeah. it's making food whether it's you know yeah. painting whether it's building something sure. or planting a garden from the ground up you know 100%. bringing a form into this formless thing um 
and you know music is just like so natural i mean there is like you said there's like mathematics behind it like perfect chords i mean these these notes and tones have mathematical steps between them yeah and frequencies yeah exactly and and you know the church like roman catholic church early on knew some of this i mean they've they've constructed halls that were mathematically correct to even amplify the music you know so yeah wow there is something just completely organic about it um rhythms of the natural rhythms of of nature you know um so yeah it that is all just like it's kind of mind blowing, fascinating. right? It's, it kind of like blows your mind in a way, it, you know. It it does, you know, that these melodies. I mean, these melodies have existed forever. You know, We're just it, you out. know what? What do you think about this? Like, you know, you pick up a guitar or a piano, right? I mean, there's there are a finite amount of notes, right? But the music you can make with it is infinite. Yeah that's cr- that's kind of <laughs> weird right like that, again absolutely fascinating but then you wonder why do songwriters s- still keep using gcd you know you're right. like well i don't know you know because it sounds good you know it i does. guess i guess that's the reason you know i you don't find know. new things though you know and it's like i think as someone who's been doing it for a while it's like i used to be able to find that just within a guitar or something you know and yeah. and it's now I can still find it like that, but as I get older too, it's about having more tools, you know, um, to, to get, to be able to tease those moments out, you know? So yeah, like having the studio, I just have like instruments set up, you know, I have my, I have the piano, I have synthesizers, like generally like to have microphones on things on drums and I'll write songs behind a drum kit, you know, when I'm working on a song. I'll switch between instruments, you know? Oh, I like that. Um, That's interesting. Because when you play guitar, like you play a rhythm, you know? Yeah. And when you do drums and I'm not a, a great drummer at all. And, but like your, your foot will, your kick drum will start kind of finding that same, those same rhythms just in a natural way that that's the stuff that I can't explain. Um, those moments when like rhythm and song come together, it's like, you know, lyrics and stuff like, you know that's like writing some stuff out and editing some things and working on it but like when those chords come together because the infinite possibilities come in like when you're playing that g d c that you know you can play on the upbeat you know on the and on the down you can you know all these other crazy rhythms can make everything feel different if you just hear change that g to a g major seventh all of a sudden there's a new land that just opened up and it's yeah. just like, wow. And the same three chords could just sound so different. I mean, I, I could sit here and play, you know, like the synthesizer patch. It would just be like this patty kind of spacey patch and then be like, Oh wait, I'm just playing G and C. Yeah. But if I would have played that on the acoustic guitar, it might've felt stale, you know? Yeah.